Recent history and the bitter lessons it brought home are keeping Magnolia Iang Pambansang Manox feet firmly planted on the ground. That's why the hotshots go into their PBA Governor's Cup semi-final duel with Barangay Ginebra at the Smart Araneta Coliseum Wednesday armed with extra determination tempered by caution against a Kings squad known for its legendary never-say-die spirit. Last Monday, Magnolia carved a 101-97 follow-up to its 106-98's victory in the best-of-five series opener, giving it three cracks at closing the deal starting in Game 3. Despite his hotshots, being on the verge of a second final stint this season coach Cheeto Victolero remains focused on the task at hand, and for good reason. In its colorful history, since joining the league in 1979 as Gilby's Yen, Ginebra has only dug itself out of such a 0-2 hole once in a similar race to three duel, during its controversy, filled 2010 Philippine Cup quarterfinals series with talk and text. League records also show that since the best of five semis was institutionalized in 1993, 36 of 37 teams which went up 2-0 won the series. There is one instance last year which nags at Victolero the most, however. Against Victolero and the hotshots in last season's Philippine Cup best of seven semis, the Kings overcame deficits of 0-2 and 2-3 to beat the team then known as Star. I have asked my players to remember that at the Ian Young Magaging Inspiration Naman Seguro for the rest of the series, said Victolero. We've experienced it before, and we'll try our best na sana makuhin naman iyong pangit long panelo. Even Magnolia import Romeo Travis can't stress enough how crucial Game 3 would be knowing fully well that to give Ginebra the opening to stay alive and keep on fighting could spell trouble. It's of utmost importance, said Travis. That team is amazing, that's a great team, perennial champions. You don't want to keep playing them. You don't want to keep giving them opportunities, so this is the most important game of the year for us. That's just what we want to do, you don't want to give this team chances. Magnolia already had a big scare in Game 2 last Monday, when Ginebra came charging back from a 12-point fourth-quarter deficit and threatened within two, going to the game's last 24 seconds. Good thing for the hotshots the Kings were unable to bring home the fight back, while Paul Lee and Travis sealed the deal from the stripe. One thing that went for Magnolia is the ejection, due to successive technical fouls, of Ginebra coach Tim Cohn with still 9-18 left in the game. Cohn refused to talk to the media after the game, but Chief Deputy Richard Del Rosario said the reigning back-to-back -back champions will not just shot up for the game. We still have faith in our players and the character of the team because of past experiences, said Del Rosario. We will be okay. That is what Victolero is wary of as he prepares for whatever tinkering Ginebra may do to free up Justin Brownlee more from Rome Della Rose's defense and keep Travis and Lee from taking over. Songan Dai Kopatalan Kungano Magaging Adjustment, said Victolero. Songan, Pahinga players so we can have the energy on Wednesday. Walk through Langbukas, Tuesday, Piro Ang Importante Yang Mental Preparation, 